Hello, I'm Dr. Andrew Neville. In a previous video, I was talking about heartburn and I mentioned hydrochloric acid. So hydrochloric acid is what I want to talk about today. Hydrochloric acid is stomach acid. And this, this stomach acid is, is really impressive, actually. It's, it has a pH of two. So it is so incredibly acidic. Like if you poured it on the hood of your car, it would eat away the paint. Yet we have this stuff in our stomach, right? In, in, in and, and it doesn't burn through our stomach or the, the, the lining or anything like that. Um, the reason it doesn't is because we have this protective coating over the delicate mucosal membranes. We've got this coating. It's called mucin. Um, and this stuff is, I mean, it's millimeters thick, but it's like Teflon. And it protects us, right? It protects us. So you've got this hydrochloric acid. We absolutely need hydrochloric acid to basically to sterilize the food, right? When we eat, just in case there's some kind of germ or whatever, sterilize it but also liquefy it, right? It's the initial and probably most important stage um, of di the digestive process because if that hydrochloric acid doesn't happen, then that doesn't trigger your pancreas to release enzymes to further the process, which then doesn't trigger your gallbladder to release bile to further the process, which then doesn't trigger the peristaltic. So it all kind of goes down to hydrochloric acid. So strangely enough, when I have patients with digestive system uh, symptoms, especially in my patient population, which is people with, you know, adrenal fatigue and too much stress, which then suppresses the digestion, which you should also pay attention to. Um, more often than not, they're, they're not having high acid. They're actually having low acid. Periodically, the acid can flare. So not uncommonly, I will do a trial of actually taking pills of hydrochloric acid. So you do this therapeutic trial, you just, and it's, it sounds kind of scary, right? But it's perfectly safe. I mean, I wouldn't do it when you're in a an active kind of heartburn flare, or if you have an active ulcer or something like that, probably not a good idea. But at some point when you're, you know, relatively stable, you just start to, you know, you take one with each meal, see how you feel. Most people don't feel a thing, which is not good, right? Because if you're adding acid, right? Like if your acid was normal and you add acid, you should feel something, right? You should feel a little heartburn, a little warmth in the stomach, something like that. So you start with one per meal, go to two per meal, Go to three per meal, right? You can kind of keep bumping it up. At some point, if you get to too much, you might notice that little warmth or heartburn or something like that. Then you just back off. But taking that hydrochloric acid basically initiates the whole digestive process. It can make everything much more efficient. So I've seen these trials of hydrochloric acid help with, with belching and bloating, um, what we call postprandial fatigue. Like, you know, doc, I get really tired after I eat a, you know, a bigger meal, hydrochloric acid. Um, so strangely enough, this hydrochloric acid trial can be really, really efficient. It's kind of safe. Um, there's another way to do it. You, some people will use apple cider vinegar in the same way. Not nearly as strong of an acid, but, you know, if people are gun shy with hydrochloric acid, um, you could use, you know, a tablespoon of apple cider vinegar before meals, which can also help. It also has some other benefits as well. So don't fear hydrochloric acid. It's your friend, right? We all have it in us and we need adequate amounts you know, pay a little attention to why your hydrochloric acid is a problem, maybe as well, but, you know, experimenting with hydrochloric acid is actually pretty safe. Good luck.